Time is up. We got one. In 2020, global pandemic hit with no vaccine in sight. World government imposed lockdowns to help slow the spread of the virus while industry turned to robotics for manufacturing, which increased production and pollution. Rather than slowing production, companies like Medican came to rise to purify the air and control the environment. Now, in 2050, we must wear our masks even inside the house to protect ourselves from the spread of the mutated viruses and the out-of-control pollution. People are still waiting as millions die, while we continue our lives with masks as part of the solution.
So what are we doing here? Routine welfare check. According to his boss, he was supposed to go out of town on a business trip, but he never got on the plane. Hasn't been to work since the day before yesterday. Mr. Weber! It's the police! Mr. Weber! Are you okay? Unit 5 requesting backup. Unidad 5 copia. Ready? Shouldn't we wait for backup first? On the count of three. One, two. What's the verdict, Doc? This one is an interesting case. An interesting case indeed. I mean, how interesting is it? He just looks like he was just beaten to death. Yeah, on the surface, but his brains are literally fried. You don't mean figuratively? No, literally. Take a look for yourself. Oh, ooh. What could have caused that? Good question. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Hey, clean up your own mess. I am not the janitor. Sorry, Doc. Oh, this is still very green to him. Literally. Hey, do you remember those old commercials? This is your brain. And this is your brain on drugs. Looks to me like this is a brain on drugs. Look, I'm not going to know anything until I get the lab results back. The cause of death is a cause at this point. What do you mean? Well, based on his physical appearances, he's been beaten pretty badly. Got blows all over his body, even a few broken ribs. But the condition his brain's in and his body, there's no way for me to tell you how he died just yet. Mom blew to the head and he's dead with the condition his brain was in. Hell, if he had simply just bumped his head on something, he could have died instantly. Strange thing is, Doc, there was no forced entry. It's a locked room mystery. No one's seen or heard anything other than a few screams. The neighbors thought maybe they were imagining things or there was some freaky sex going on. I just don't understand why people don't report things. Well, I mean, usually people prefer to just stick to themselves and not interrupt other people's privacy. Is it possible that these wounds occurred before the time of death? How else could he have died? Oh, no, 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 no. I mean, like, these wounds were there. And then he died. I mean, I guess that's a possibility. But I highly doubt that he just died of natural causes in the night. Listen, Doc. Just let us know if you want any drugs in the system, okay? okay. Sorry to interrupt, guys. But you want these reports right away, sir? Yes, please. Thanks. Can you throw it on the screen, please? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely nothing, as you can see. Not even a stray cut. Wait, oh, no, dog. no, no, go, go back a couple times. I don't see anything. Activate that footage. Alright. I still don't see anything. The fog. It's just fog. Hey, dog. Do you see anything unusual about this? I'm no meteorologist. It doesn't look like anything out of the ordinary. Well, don't you think maybe we should check to see if the weather conditions are right to see if fog could be at that area at that time of night? 
Yeah, you could do that. Meanwhile, I'll follow up on real leads. <laughs> you got anything else for me, Ray? Yeah, one more thing. The victim. His name's Andrew Weber. All right, great job. Thanks, Lee. All right. All right, kid. Got a lot of work to do. Good going. Doc, can you let me know as soon as those lab results come in? Thanks. You know what? I bet you this turns out to be nothing more than an OD with all these crazy drugs running around. Yeah, maybe. What about that fog, though? Just get it. tonight's program to bring you updated news. The city's new privately owned police department has completed its integration worldwide. Medican Outreach Zoning Authority is now the global police force. Since the outbreak 10 years ago, the company has also been the world's leading medical research facility, providing us with the bioscanner to communicate. They predicted that within 10 years, they'll be able to provide new technology to deliver clean air and a vaccine for all viruses through the scanner. In other news, as we reported earlier, the body of Andrew Weber was discovered in his home after his boss called for a welfare check. Weber never boarded a plane for a business trip. The now privately owned police department discovered his body in bed. They believe this is a case of suicide. Robin Lee standing by live at the scene. Robin. Police stated that they could not confirm if there is any foul play. The doors were locked from within when police arrived on the scene. Hey. Here Don't we know him? As it his name out, sounds familiar. The police later found him, but dead in his room. Hmm. We currently have some hmm. neighbors here. Let's see what they've seen or heard. Sir, did you hear or see anything the other night? Well, I heard a scream that woke me up, but I thought nothing of it because I thought I just woke myself up from a nightmare. I looked out the window and saw nothing but some fog, so I went back to sleep. It didn't occur to you to call the police? Nah, like I said, I thought I was just dreaming. Thank you. Ma'am, yes. did you hear or see anything? Uh, Andy? Andy lives right across from me. He's a good guy. He always helps out in the community. Uh, he helps the neighborhood. He goes jogging, he goes to work, comes home. Good guy. I didn't know he was an addict. Wait, did she say addict? Yes, police believe this was a suicide by OD. Did you see anything? Well, I looked out the window, I heard a scream, but it was dark out. Uh, his house, Andy's house was dark. I didn't think much of it because that time of night, the house is supposed to be dark. Uh, I thought he might be having kinky sex. Excuse me? Well, you never know what goes on behind closed doors in someone's house. I just thought he might be having a little kinky sex. It appears the neighbors heard a scream. Back to you. Hey, Larry, did you hear any screaming last night? You live across the street. Nope. Slept like a baby. Had a girlfriend over. Way too much fun. Ah, uh, Larry, you're the man. Police are investigating the drugs Andrew overdosed on. If anyone has any further information about this incident or Andrew, please contact police. We shouldn't be watching TV anyways. Jim needs to focus so he can whip all your asses. <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, Katie, why don't you come over and blow on my cards for a little bit of good luck, will you? <laughs> oh, this'll do. I see you. 
and Eurasia. Fold. Call. Ah, not so fast. <laughs> That's great, honey. Hey, I'm going to bed. Okay. <laughs> Okay guys, that was the last hand. It's late and time for bed. I miss the feel of your lips. I miss the taste of your skin. Good night. Night. Jim? Hmm. I think I remember him. Him? Him who? The one on TV tonight. You know, the one they said OD'd? Was he a co-worker? No. I met him about 20 years ago. I wouldn't worry too much about it. Let the cops do their jobs. Mm. I suppose you're right. Good night. Good night. This way, this way. Come here, in here. Look, look, hear us. Look, hear us. Hurry, hurry. No time to waste. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Wait, there's a kid. Go quiet. Quiet. Hey, buddy. You okay? They're, they're coming. They're coming. Who? Okay. Okay, buddy. Relax. We need to take you and get you checked in at the hospital. Make sure you're okay. Do you understand? No. No.
The devil! The devil's coming for me! The devil! Alright, buddy. Okay, come on. Come on. Take it easy. Take it easy. You'll be alright. No. Yeah, you'll be alright. We're gonna get you checked out, buddy. We're gonna get you some help. Come on. Alright, buddy. Come on. Come on. Take it easy. Take it easy. Alright. Watch your head. Watch your head. What the? These new technologies, how much shit are they going to try and put in these wrist connectors? <laughs> Dispatch, this is Unit 3. Unit 3, copy. I have the suspect in custody. I'm bringing him in the center for drop-off. Unit 3, proceed. Procedente, espero que no se vaya esta vez. Roger that. Lisa, where should we confine him at? Arthur, Arthur, Arthur. This is the fifth time he's gotten off this week. If it wasn't for the director. All right. Okay, so looks like I have an opening in 2034. That'll be solitary confinement. The devil's coming! Let me go! Hey, Lisa. Yes? When does this session start? He's been like this for 24 hours. Let me check. <laughs> Doesn't look like it's till about 1300, but we do have an opening in solitary confinement, room 2044. Oh. Hold him still. Come on, guys. Don't have all the time. Stop. This is for your own protection. No, no, no. Officer. Over there. Thank you. Thank you. There you go. Easy. Let's see what we got. Whoa. Looks like a suicide to me. You think this is a suicide? You took a run for the tree? Tree one. Let's go. You're kidding me. Thank you, Gosky. So, Mijo, how are you fitting in at school? Fine, I guess. Just fine? Mama, why do we have to move? You know why. We belong here. We always have. Well, but all my friends are back home. This is your new home. And you make new friends. I don't want to make new friends. Starting over is hard. I know. But you'll be all right. We both will. Now, comes, comes. Can I ask you a question? Anything, mijo. Promise you won't get mad? Whatever had caused Papa's car accident? I don't want to talk about it. You said I could ask anything. Anything but that. But Mama. What caused the accident is not as important as making sure those responsible pay. Mama, I just want to know. 
Mijo, the past is the past, and it's meant to stay there. Ya basta! Tenemos que ser adelante. Concentrese en el futuro, okay? Está bien. Seré lo mejor, mijo. Hola, Hola, Maria. Are we still meeting? Sí. Comes, comes, eat. Cuando vayas terminando, la vas a limpiar la mesa y la vayas los platos. I have somewhere to be. I have to go now. on the rampant killing? Who's the perpetrator? Well, no, sir. We just got a couple of weeks to follow up on. Very well. We need to find out who's been doing all these and bring that person to justice. The mayor's very anxious to have this solved. He doesn't want the media to blow this out of proportion. Don't you worry, sir. We'll get this done in 24 hours. That's why I'm counting on you, Jones. You're always determined. Listen, I gotta take this. It's the mayor. You both get on it. And report back with updates. Okay, that's it. Yes, sir. Mayor Reinhardt, I'm on my way. 24 hours? Really? What? What the hell is wrong with you? Alive? He's alive. Okay. It's Hoster. Hoster? Hey, shouldn't this guy be in rehab? He should. He's coming. Oh, who? He's coming and he can't be stopped. Who? The devil! Okay. Are you able to get up? Yeah, I, I think so. <laughs> you sure you're all right? You gotta get him back to rehab. No, 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 no. He knows where to find me there. Arthur, who's gonna find you? The devil! You know what, let's just take him with us because Doug Frensky's house is right there. Doug, 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 Doug. We can't just Doug, take Doug, anyone Doug, on Doug, an investigation, Doug. especially a potential witness. Okay, well, the thing is, is that he's not a witness. He's insane. We don't have the time to go back. I'll, I'll behave. I'll behave. Fine. He's all yours. This is your show now. Hey, don't screw up. When do I screw up? Man, this weather is just so screwed up with the radiation and pollution. Church just not Cleveland. Being Cleveland. <laughs> Snowy and rainy one minute, sunny the next. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Oh, hey, take this clean mask and get rid of your dirty one. No, while we're at it. 
Why were you even outside in the first place? Shouldn't you be in rehab? Dr. Chen got me out. Hello, Arthur. How are you? He's coming! Okay. He's coming! Okay, settle down. I believe you. Then you know. Do you want to get out of here? Then you have to get better. I have an idea if you're interested. Anything. Anything. I want to take a different approach to your therapy, okay? But I need your cooperation. And this has to be between us. Uh, I'll do anything. Please. Please. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry, Arthur. The jacket is a bit large, but there's only one size for all. Try that shit again. You understand? Yes. yes. We're here to help you get well. If you can't cooperate, we're gonna keep you confined to your room. You understand? Yes. Good. Do we understand each other? Yes. Yes. Don't follow my instructions. Now follow my instructions. First, we relax. Take a deep breath. Like so. Now you. That's it. Breathe in. Breathe out. Very good. Now close your eyes. It helps. I don't want to. Close your eyes. You need to relax. Very good. Now continue to listen to my voice. What's wrong? No! What's wrong? Yes! Arthur, Arthur! He's here! Arthur, what? Focus! Here! Who? Who's here? This is... Yeah. What the? Wait a minute, did you say Dr. Chen? Yeah. Huh.
Good evening, Ms. Ferensky. Mm -hmm. I'm Detective Mendoza for Cleveland PD. Is your brother home by chance? What's wrong? Is Doug in some kind of trouble? No, ma'am. Uh, we just have a couple questions for him for an ongoing investigation. Well, he isn't here at the moment. He's still at the dojo. Dojo? Yeah. Uh, Doug runs a martial arts school. Okay, can you give me the address, please? Uh, sure. Got it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You have a nice night. The location on Doug. Looks like he's at some martial arts studio right here. What do we do about him? He comes with us. What? Look, we're not going to drive all around town just to end up dropping him off somewhere. Plus, we want to keep a good eye on him. All right, you're the boss. That's right. We've located a third address. Excellent.
you stay put while we take care of some official police business. Got it? Let's go. Yo, yo, hey. Do you think maybe he might be in the back where he can't hear us? Let's check the back. That's fair. Mr. Ferensky? Jones, take point. It's him! It's him! He killed Doug! Don't we tell you to stay in the car? Don't touch anything, this is a crime scene. Wait a minute. How do you know his name? Because we never mentioned him to you. Well? Answer me! You know what, forget rehab. Let's just lock no. him up. No! No! I, I need to be on the move, or he'll get Best me. Best we keep him with us. He already broke out of rehab. Who knows if that prison will hold him. Whatever we do, Mendoza, can we just get out of here? Because I'm really not feeling too great. Yeah, let's go. Dispatch, this is Mendoza. We have another crime scene with the body. Send back out to security area and collect evidence. Copy. Where to, boss? Well, after backup arrives, we could head here. Lex the residence, the last on our list. All right. Let's get this night over with. Got it. What's the matter? Past your bedtime? You're so funny. No, you're not at all. Bet you didn't spake these late hours now, did you? No. Really? You feeling any better? Actually, yeah. Uh, a little bit. Not the best, but... What are you gonna do with him? Easy. He comes with us. And you, my friend, get to babysit. Let's go. Come on, get out. Come on. Yes? Good evening, ma'am. I'm Detective Mendoza, Detective Jones with the Cleveland PD. What's this all about? Can we come inside? Uh, yeah, oh, yes. Sure. Sorry. Kate? Kate! Kate! Oh, okay, okay, funny. So good to see you again. What? Get your hands off my wife. Do you know him? I'm not sure. I don't think so. Katie, it's me. Yes, please, have a seat. Katie, 
It's me. Wait. Now I know. It was over 20 years ago. There were heavy thunderstorms that night. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I, I, didn't, I didn't mean to, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Get up and help, will you? I'm doing this! I'm doing this! It's okay, ma'am. It's okay. I got it. Okay, keep calm, ma'am. Keep calm. <laughs> Go by my truck! Go grab it! So you do know Arthur here? Yes. It took me a while to recognize him. I haven't seen him in 20 years. I only met him that night. But you know Andrew, Alex, and Doug as well? Yeah, well, Alex and Doug are our friends. Andrew's more of an acquaintance. He was always a loner. So, what was this woman's name? I don't remember. It was so long ago. She was a stranger. It's okay, because I have a scan going through archives of accident reports, so we should catch this. Oh, brilliant. I know. And hey, this connects all the murders. Murders? There's more than one? Alex and Doug are dead too. I know. You see what you did now? Idiot. Why didn't you ever tell me about this accident? It was long before I married you. I didn't remember, and honestly, I didn't want to remember. I was scared. Oh, no, no, what we need to do is hurry. Because if whoever she is, if she's out there, then we need to go and catch her. We don't need security. Security? Are we in trouble? Two of our friends and another guy is dead. Of course we're in trouble, you- Don't talk to me like that, Jim. Well, if it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be in this mess now, would we? It was an accident years ago. Would you rather I just pass them by? So they need protection, let's keep Arthur here. Can we get a security detail to this location? Receive. Security detail dispatch. We'll be there shortly. Copy that. Oh, hey, I have an ID. Uh, Maria Consuelo. Good job. Okay, now let's go catch this lady. Enough. I've had enough. I would have thought you'd trust me enough to tell me this when we met. Too much going on here. Jim. Jim, wait. If you're keeping this from me, then what else have you been hiding? Were you and Doug a thing? No. Or was it Alex? No. Jim. Oh, I can't let you leave that now. I yeah. have to go to you're, him. You're still in a lot of danger, all right? I'm not letting you out of my sight. So we're all gonna go to the station. It'll be much safer for you there. What if we use this opportunity to set a trap for Maria? No, we are not risking any witnesses' lives. But what about Jim? Do you have any idea where you might have went? Yeah, he most likely went to Shadow's Bar. Shadow's Bar. Central Dispatch. Send an additional security unit to the Lexdor residence. Have another unit meet me at Shadow's Bar. Coordinate and sent. Copy that. All right, let's go find Jim.
one, I should follow them. Yes. Did you notice if Arthur's back there? I believe so. He seems to be as crazy as ever. Miho, find him and bring him back here alive. It is time. We must prepare a cleansing for Arthur. I need his memory back. I want him to remember everything. He must die knowing what he has done. I just can't believe she never told me about how she became friends with Doug and Alex. I just assumed they grew up together, but it was some sort of accident. You mean an accident that they met? No, 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 no. Pay attention. They met over some sort of freak accident. A guy burned to death in his car. Oh. Sir, are you Jim Lexton? Who wants to know? Sir, please come with us. It's for your own safety. If you're gonna arrest me, then arrest me. I haven't done anything, and you can't force me to go with you. Is that Katie? How the hell did she get out? Must have slipped by security, I don't know. I don't have all the answers in the notes. I need you to do some disappearing act on me. You embarrassed me! I embarrassed you? Who are you? Do I even know you? Sorry, Mendoza. He just wouldn't cooperate. We tried to take him to the precinct. It's all right. He's been through a lot today. Just glad you guys are here to protect him. Mendoza? Jim! Mendoza! <laughs> Mendoza? Come on, man. Mindy! Mendoza! That's Dispatch! You send, uh, you send ambulances here now! You tell the officers down! Dude! Uh, Mendoza? Damn it, Mendoza! Mendoza! Come on! <laughs> Mindy? 
Don't be playing with me, Mindy. Are you alive? Did you just call me Mindy? Don't ever call me that again. What's so damn funny? I'm just glad you didn't give me mouth to mouth. <laughs> Well, I took Arthur. But who the hell is he? I have an idea who. It's her son. You mean Maria Consuela? The baby she was pregnant with at the time of the accident? How do you know him? I've seen him. We need to hurry up and find Arthur before there's more dead bodies. And Jim wasn't innocent in all of this. He wasn't even there. So where would they take him? I know. I can take you. I owe it to Jim. You see, that night happened exactly as I said it did. Except that I was in the back seat of the Consuela's car when it crashed. No, Mama. We can only stand her in the basement in the new cage. No! What? So you can have your way with her? I know what you've been up with the others. Don't think that I don't know. Ay, adios mio, can't you see I'm driving here? I took the opportunity to escape. Escape? Yeah. I didn't mean to, I wasn't paying attention. I didn't... Are you okay? What about your parents? Help me! They're not my parents! Help me get away! I, I, there was a black guy, I just went in. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. Okay, okay. We need to help them. So Doug pretended I was with him, and we came across the accident, and he got me to safety afterwards. When I heard from others that the Consuelas moved to the city, I started to check on them once in a while, making sure they aren't planning to take me back. Wait, wait, wait. What were you doing with the Consuelos to begin with? I was barely out of high school back then. I was young, naive, impressionable. They gave me a place to belong after I left home. So you were a runaway? Yeah, but little did I know that I was joining a Santeria cult. How would you say they're running a cult? We need to hurry up and rescue Arthur. There's been enough bloodshed today. Okay, where, where do we start with that? I know where. They meet near an abandoned rail yard. Okay, well, let's get going. Normally I'd say this is overkill, but seeing the day we've had today, we're gonna need everything we get our hands on. Santa Trinidate, 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 Santa
Bienvenidos, hija mía. Ahora es hora de despertemos la memoria de Arthur. Santa Trinidade, 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 Santa Trinidade. Now what? You try to get closer. Katie, I want you here and out of the way. No, I'm coming too. I can free Arthur while you two cover me. Alright, that'll work. We're gonna need some backup first. Central dispatch, send us some backup. Lots of it. We're sending coordinates now. Copy that. Backup on the hey, you know way. Let's cut down Arthur. Use this knife, okay? Right. You guys ready? Right. Let's move. Santa Trinidade. 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 It's you. It's, it's all my fault. Yes, it is. I killed him. I... I didn't mean to. You killed my husband. And now you must pay. No. I... I killed Alex. It's, it's all my fault that he's dead. He would have gotten killed by the devil if it wasn't for me. Free! You're all under arrest! Step away from Arthur, Maria! Ah, so you've come home. Thank you for making it easy for me. Now I don't have to hunt you down. Everybody lay down! <laughs> you think you have power here? And you, I'll deal with you soon. It's because of you, Carlos had to grow up without a father. So tell me how you did it, Maria. How did you kill all of those people? Simple. Hallucinogenics. The right plants, herbs, and the correct combination, it can have a powerful effect on a person's psyche. Explains why we felt so nauseous at the dojo and the bar. <laughs> Little did he know, he thought he was dreaming. But he got exactly what he deserved. And what about the others? You're under arrest for the murders of Andrew Weber, Alex Chen, and Doug Berenski. Cool. We just want to take them in. Understand? You think you can outnumber us? I mean, look at us. We outnumber you. Don't worry. Not for long. Help! Help me! Help! <laughs> Stop with your tricks, lady! <laughs> Help! Help me! <laughs> Give up! You're under arrest! No! Why don't you drop your weapons? You know you don't have any bullets!
Carlos. Be it, darling. Y metalos a todos. any power in here. Now let's get you out of here before someone drops a house on you.
Have you ever heard of Santarini? Do you want me to teach you? <laughs> <laughs> I pressed the button, y'all. All right. That's sweet. How do you know Chen? My doctor. <laughs> In three, two, one. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait. Action. Four. You're supposed to meet me in advance so I know when to teach you. I want you here in either way. No, I'm coming too. I can free Arthur while you two cut me loose. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one, go! Not to us, 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 not to us